And welcome back to Live at Five at Four. Annabella and I are out on the weather porch joined by Chelsea Smith with Helen Ross McNabb Centers Health Families Team. Yes. Somehow like that. So Chelsea, you always <laughs> have like creative and fun ideas and today it's all about Halloween. Yes. <laughs> Halloween is only two days away <laughs> and so we have some <laughs> last minute activities for you moms and caregivers out there who are looking for something maybe to uh, something that doesn't involve sugar and candy. Mm -hmm. um, so first we have pumpkin tic-tac-toe. Okay, how does this and work? It's super fun and super easy and it is made with, uh, you're going to want to have f five orange pumpkins and five little white pumpkins. White pumpkins? I don't know and that then, I've ever seen those. Well, these are straight from the pumpkin patch. <laughs> these are actually artificial. So you can mix artificial, you just whatever you have on okay. hand. Artificial, real, um, but they do need to be pretty small. Um, because you make your little square board, you can tape this off just with, I use like a fun duct tape, you can paint it, just again, whatever works for you guys at home. Um, another really fun idea is part of this activity, to have the children actually go and gather sticks from outside mm. and do it outside if the weather's nice and make the board with the sticks and do it kind of in the dirt in the neighborhood. Um, Annabella, do you want to make a little X on this? Sure. I've forgotten pumpkin. all my tic-tac-toe strategy. And I'm trying to go back in time. And it requires kiddos to kind <laughs> of think and strategize. Yeah. So, and it's so colorful it's good and pretty. To, yeah, so fun. And then you can reuse it if you use the artificial ones. Um, yeah, these ones are going to get for the next bad. year. And you want to <laughs> just paint on top. You want to use like a permanent marker or a permanent paint because pumpkins, if you use the real ones, can be a little moist. Okay. So Annabelle is making hers exactly perfect. Of course she is. She's an artist. <laughs> so glad to have her. Yes. Um, and so our next activity. Um, so this guy came from the Dollar Tree. He was only one dollar. Mr. Bones here. And I think most people, most little children view these as maybe scary, right. a Halloween symbol. But our idea at McNabb is to definitely like validate those fears. Yes, this might be scary to you, but it doesn't have to be and kind of make it into a fun little science lesson for kids. So this is a really great book to help teach that. It's called The Skeleton Inside You by Philip Balestrino. And it can actually be ordered from Amazon for $5. Get to your door, right, for Halloween. Um, so that kids actually, view this as, oh, we all have skeletons inside us. So page five says, on Halloween, I wore a skeleton costume. I used to think skeletons were made up just to scare people. But now I know that skeletons are real. They are not scary. I would not be me without a skeleton and you would not be you. So I love it. Now you also have a crafting thing over here, which yes. it just looks like some toilet paper, but I know it's going to be something much more awesome. Pretty simple <laughs> um, for you moms out there who don't like glue and glitter and messy <laughs> stuff. Pretty easy. So Annabella, um, you're in charge of yes. this. Ms. Chelsea's going to tell you what to do. I you to do this, Annabella. Okay. Um, and this is just like a two by two square of fabric. So if you want to tuck the corners into the center of the toilet paper, and again, you guys probably have most all of these materials on hand at home. So it's like an oversized bandana. Where did you, where did you? Yes, get? just at the craft store. Okay. A bandana actually probably right. would work. Okay. An orange one would be really cute actually. Oh, look at that. So you tucked all oh, the corners perfect. in. Yes, yeah, so you want to kind of tuck those in yeah. really tightly yeah. and then roll up um, just a brown paper lunch bag. Mm. Pretty tight. Pretty tight again. Fabulous. We're making a stem. Yes. I jumped ahead. Oh this no. This is a stem. <laughs> Very good. And you're just going to want to stick that in the center. The pumpkin is coming to life. I love it. Yay. Yay. That is beautiful. Nice and fluffy. <laughs> and um, you just get a green strip of fabric. Or you could use green ribbon um, just as the leaf. So you want to tie that around the stem. And I see this one that you already made has yes. different fabric. So they really can have a lot of personality. Pattern. Yes, mm -hmm. you can switch them up, make them fun, um, use different textures, make a lesson out of that. So, and they make for really cute centerpieces and you can use them again next year. So. I love it. Anything special Thank going you. on at Helen Ross McNam for the season? Oh, we're going to have lots of fun hol as the holiday yes. season comes. We're yeah. going to have lots of fun with that. And so. crafty. Do you have any tic-tac-toe strategy? No. No. We got nothing. It's probably been a few years since we've all nothing. played it. So, yeah, my kids will probably beat yeah, me. Three so. in a row, three in a row. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in and sharing these fun ideas. I Thanks really for especially having love me. it. And Annabella, we're getting a little taste of your arts and crafts because we got something really special coming up. I can't so, wait. you want to stay with Life at Five at Four. Happy Halloween.